because every every Jake on this planet gonna get his. Yep. All right. Every Israelite on this earth is gonna rule, man. Okay. Because at the end of the day, uh, the creature is subject to vanity. So not every Israelite, even though they're chosen, they weren't set up in the end days to be of the chosen of the Lord. But they're gonna come back as chosen. Okay. So how about that? Back in Samuel, and Saul said unto his servants, "Provide me a man now." Provide me now the man that can play well and bring him to me. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse of Beth the Bethlehemite that is a cunning player and a mighty valiant man and that's, a man of war. That show you that uh, even back then, you know, Jake was in the poetry, you know, rhyming, all right, music and instruments. Yeah, that, even during the so-called dark age, you had the Vikings, they would flight. That's battle rap. Mm -hmm. You know, very witty, yeah. quick comebacks. So Jake still yeah. do that to this day. Well, a lot of them Jakes were reincarnated from that. Yeah. Like, if you look up flighting, which his brother put me onto it, so I looked in there, because, hey, I like I like immense words. I like rhyming words, too. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? I told a brother, I said, this place make me want to uh, 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 speak poetry. Yep. So, you know? Okay. Slam, poetry. Slam poetry. I do that sometimes, man. Being uh, vexed. Excuse me. I did that in the world, bro. This woman had me so vexed, I started rapping at her ass. You know what I mean? Because Jake fucked up. But that's some of the best uh, 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 material is when you're in a, a blues. Right, Jake is very ex expressive. Yes. Very, going back to blues. Yeah. You know, how did that come about from, from Israel catching hell? Yeah. Well, my man Marvin Gaye, it's, it's called Inner City Blues. Mm, yeah, that's good. He song. said, uh, 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 policing. Oh, this shooting. I was like, yo, this shit happened. He said, make me want to uh, throw up my hands. Make me want to holler. I'm like, damn, this shit, I was listening like the other day. I'm like, this shit happening right now. Right. This shit happening right now. Uh, Tupac changes. Yep. Money for walls, but can't feed, feed the, the poor. Food. Yep. You know? Yep. He said, uh, and that shit hit home. He said, uh, 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 you're a black queen mama, even though you're a crack fiend. That shit's real, man. All right? That shit's real in our lives. The things that Jake speak about. But now it's all the shoot him up, gun, claim, bottle, money. Who won't smoke with me? <laughs> I tell you what, bro, Man. the music that was in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, that should have been the 2000s. Because the music now, that should have been the, the quality. Right. And that's what should have, like, how they were trying to get there. Y'all declined. Okay? Mm -hmm. What is it? A precipitous decline? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all declined, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know? And they called the, uh, like, the, uh, the 90s, golden the, uh, the golden age of music, yep. if you will. Yep. Also, uh, says in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. 70s, yep. yeah, I agree I too. Saying, yep. saying yeah, 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 yeah. The 90s is whack. They're heavy into music. But yeah, 70, yeah. I would, I would yeah. 90s was okay, but not compared to the uh, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yeah. You know? It says, uh, verse, verse uh, 18, finishing off. 18. See, look, verse. You know, in songs, you have what? Three verses. We're, we're singing right now. Yeah, you have a, a what, a eight and a, a 16. And the yeah. chorus. The that chorus is, is the name of the Lord and us being the children of Israel. Yep. You, there's, a, there's a repetitious slogan amongst all Hebrew Israelite men that teach. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. When I used to write, my favorite part would be, man, like, man, what, what's my chorus going to be? Well, that's yeah. how uh, <laughs> Curtis Jackson, that's how he got famous. He would come up with choruses. You know what I mean? Like, he would just, he was selling choruses. He was selling courses on the on the on the corner, you know, mm -hmm. you know, because he gave like game, you know what I mean. He was, that's how he put people on. Here I got a court because you need a hook. Oh, yeah. this is the hook. Yep. <laughs> Are we fishers? Yep. Okay, that's the hook. The name. That's how we get them. Yep. All right. And even even Paul said, "I've gotten you by guile." All right. And prudent in matters, and a comely person, and Jehovah Shimei shines with him. Mm. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse. Yeah, because you gotta be have you gotta have a certain you, you have a certain intelligence when you uh put words together. Like going back to battle rap, um they call it like wordplay schemes. Yep. Or sometimes it goes over your head. No, double entendre. Double yep. Uh similes, yep. comparisons. I'm in all that. Like that's the Lord. Yep. The Lord say, you made me hot, you know. Yep. <laughs> exactly. You know? Exactly. That's, that's where that's where that spirit comes from. Yep. You know, David, the psalmist, we yep. were reading about, book of Psalms, yep. you know, and it says, Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse and said, Send me David thy son, which is with the sheep. And Jesse took an ass laden with bread and a bottle of wine and a kid and sent them by David his son unto Saul. Dang, so he came, he came bearing gifts, <laughs> Yep. you know, and to the king, you know, Yep. and David came to Saul and stood before him and he loved him greatly and he became his armor bearer. Mm. And oh, wow. That's crazy because 
in the end day in the, in the end days of Saul, uh, Doag's son, as it said in history, was uh, uh, Saul's armor bearer. But King David, well, David, Dawada, uh, at the time was his armor bearer. That's a that's a high level position. Yeah, they were they were they were cool. Yep. You know, instantly, because he, he loved them greatly. But then, but then, because uh, of Satan, that changed, and then David and Saul's son became yeah Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan was his yep. best friend. Yep. Which hey. So why do y'all bust him outside yeah, for Jonathan? Yeah, yeah. You know, that, Jonathan, that's... Jonathan is up the house yeah, of David. Yes. You know, he made, he saw his son, he's up the house of David. He made three covenants with him. He made yep. sure, bro. And all through David's... Um, oh, well, it says um, a friend, you know, you got to prove him, you know, because in a day of adversity, he'll, he'll forget the... Jonathan didn't forget David. Right. You know, because David was catching hell. There's a lot of Psalms that we use about wicked uh, men like Esau, but that he was talking about what he was going through with Jake. Yeah, and yeah. Saul, but yeah. that's equated now to Esau, yep. you know, because those spirits ultimately are, are, are of Esau, you know. Esau is the doorway for wickedness on the earth. We're being used as a doorway of righteousness on the earth, you know. Even though we're in filthy rags, but we're the only ones in filth trying to bring, you know, righteousness. Clean. Clean. You know? yeah, it says that um, uh, uh, the, the, the steps of the righteous shall be preserved, you know. And, the, you know, pretty much the uh, it's in Proverbs, you know, you got to read Proverbs, but in a, in a nutshell, I'm butchering it. But in a nutshell, you got to you got to come to a point in this truth where like, are you going to identify yourself as wicked and, and evil or, 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 or righteous and hopeful? Mm -hmm. It comes to a point. What did Joshua say, man? Me and my house, because you got to come a point, man. You just got to put your foot down and tell Satan no more, bro. I'm, I'm tired of you always just telling me that I'm just wicked. You know, it's time to embrace because you got to remember. You got to have faith in the Lord, but you also got to have faith. He's a rewarder. Yep, you yep. you got to believe that you're going to be rewarded for what you're doing. Yeah. When the Lord said he would, he would not forget that labor of love. Yeah. You know, all those times he did charity. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And Saul sent to Jesse saying, let David, I pray thee stand before thee, for he hath found favor in my sight. Wow. Look at that. So at one point in our history, our, our, our sons and our daughters were brought to the king for righteousness but on this side our sons and daughters were brought to esau in the big house you know like nat turner he went to the big house because he could read remember you know but at one point your sons and daughters left you for good you know but now they leave you uh, uh, in for for wickedness and it came to pass when the evil spirit from yahweh by shimmy was upon saul that david took in the harp and played with his hand so saul was refreshed wow as well and was well and the evil spirit departed from him wow you know like if you're down you don't want to listen to fucking sad music you want to listen to something upbeat mm -hmm. something encouraging or just read this is the ultimate song you know put the apostles on brothers yeah you know and it's a battle to read here too it's a battle you know i had a, i had a, i had to just say no man you know and i i was in proverbs i had a reason i had a season i would read i'll become sleepy like oh me fuck? too yep. me too <laughs> Like yeah, start yawning out yep. of nowhere. That's those spirits messing with you. Yep. You know, because they don't want you to get your spirit built up. Yep. You know, fall asleep right at the desk. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> you're not even tired. I'm not even tired. You crack the book open, you start yawning. Yep. Yeah. Right? Like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, back to our point. You got some, brother? Yeah. Oh, read. This is book of uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 4, and it says, And the door shall be shut, and the streets with the sound yeah. of the grinding. It's low. I'm so glad the grind is coming low. I'm fucking tired of working for this place. You know, man, bro. Even the jobs here it are merciful. Yeah, bro. It's very unthankful. It's unprofessional. No, no, matter, so no matter how commercial it, may, it seems yep. professional and, and that you'll be rewarded, it's not. It's very passive aggressive. No matter very where you go. Very passive aggressive. <laughs> you, know? you can work at a fucking gas station and you got an arch nemesis. And he's a uh, fire ass and a heartbeat. Yep. You know? Yep. Man. Shit, I quit, I quit my job the other day. You think anybody called me? You know what I mean? Like, yo, we miss you. And I was one of the humbly, I was the best guy you had. But they don't give a shit. That's another thing, too. They don't give a shit about you being the best anymore. They don't. They don't give a shit. You're just another number. They don't, yep. You got niggas riding around in, uh, not to call them niggas, you got people riding around in Amazon vehicles. You know what I mean? All messed up. The worst drivers. They don't give a shit about the pack. They just throwing the shit, stealing it. But the men that would be trustworthy, uh, we ain't got no more routes for you. Yeah. Yep. And then, I, then, then before that, the motherfucker, he said, he said, man, you know, I, you're one of my best drivers. You're killing it out there. 
But now, oh, we don't have any more routes. Right. But uh, Barnabas over here with two fucking tattooed uh, teardrops. He said, call me little Joker. This thing out here handling all your packages. You know what I mean? Stealing them, and shit. Stealing them right. And they give him a raise. Not Committing you. adultery and shit. You know? Right. They give him a raise. Because we're being purified. Mm -hmm. So we accept that. You know? We've accepted uh, uh, the neglection that this world gives us. Oh, get it, John? Um, the world hate you? Gotcha. And then that makes me think of Isaiah 53. They just, we, matter of fact, let's precept those two. Because we need to address what our Lord went through. Because we could talk all day about what we went through, but, but remember, you know, who had to take that first. Mm -hmm. So we go to John and then Isaiah 53. But yeah, after I, the brother's I, point, I after your point, okay. so. And it goes in to say, um, when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up. Oh, we're going back. You got a shortage of teachers. Oh, now everyone's hiring. Everyone. Everywhere's hiring, bro. A surgeon. Everywhere's bro. hiring. You know? Oh, they don't want to pay you shit. Nope. Oh, they want you to work Saturdays. Fuck that. Man. Yeah, fuck that. I hey. had an interview the other day. Man. Nah, fuck that. Brothers, don't be working Saturday, man. The shit said uh, 18 an hour. I'm like, cool. And it didn't. But on the, on the white website, it said Monday through Friday. So I'm like, cool. Then I called the motherfucker. Oh, well, we need you to work That's every other you. Saturday. No, nah, fuck that. Man. No, I can't. I'm on Earth. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all on Earth. You're not in America. Y'all on Earth. Okay? Hey, we understand we're in Babylon, but ultimately, I'm on Earth, though. You know what I mean? You got Earth Day. I mean, of course we're in captivity and we have to work, but I don't. I don't want to even work five days. But you're not in chattel slavery no more. You could do other things. Exactly. Get out of that fucking slave mentality, man. You know? I'm cool with four day work week. Hell yeah. I need more time for the Lord. <laughs> Read, study. You know? Yeah, man. I need time to be alone, to be holy. Certain brothers have children. You know? Right. Right. <clears throat> and it goes in the say, um, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. And all the doors of music shall be brought low. There you go. In a very low vibration. You got it, that. You Now you have female rappers rapping about, you know, <laughs> they sound like niggas. You know? Rapping about having sex with men. Like, eh. Multiple. Yeah. Multiple. Yeah. But then, but then the bitch is married. <laughs> but she won't let her daughter listen to that music. Nope. Yep. Witchcraft. Yep. Pure witchcraft. And you all, you all been beguiled. All right. You all been beguiled, you know. And I, I don't feel, I don't feel no, uh. No sympathy for you either, you know, because you you're complacent and you're beguiling. Yep. Shit, even Eve, she had discretion, you know. Remember Adam? They hid themselves. Like, man, we fucked up. We fucked. But now, oh, you show your countenance as uh, Satan or uh, as Sodom. Uh, uh, Sodom. You had a, a Jake woman say some lewd ass shit, man. Basically telling her man to do. Her, oh man, I didn't want to say it, bro. You got some sick stuff going on out here, you know. People need to be beat. Yeah. Judge, you good, bro? I'm good. We gotta get that in John. I got you. Two out of that. Ain't enough ass whoopings going around, man. You know? Hey, well, actually, read Isaiah 53 okay, first. Okay. Well, yeah, because that's a prophecy that got fulfilled, and you know what I mean? Okay. So, um. You gonna start from the top? Yeah, you just start from the top. Because it's like in three, but you know, context, as the Christians say. <laughs> right. So, Isaiah 53 in verse 1 Who have believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Not a lot of people believe our report, you know? And we're not lying people, but we, we're believable people. We're believable guys. Yeah. But they don't believe us. Nah, I don't believe that shit. Especially, yo, you, you say some, so you drop some jewels on people coming from you, they don't look at it. That's why they said a prophet is not accepted. <laughs> oh, you know, they okay. told you I was shot. Man, you, you John, uh, Joseph's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Ain't this a Galilee? Like, yep. Right. All right, man. Whatever. I'll pass on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pass on that. It's like they look for a reason to not believe you. And, and then when the deal go down, you believe me now? <laughs> you believe yeah. me now, motherfucker? Yeah. You know? But I'm in that spirit now. Hey, don't call me, man. You know? You ain't want to call me. Don't call me. Mm -hmm. You know? Now I'm hot. They all on me. Don't call me now. Exactly. Don't call me now. You ain't want Ben. Call me. Don't call me now. That's exactly how it's going to be, man. too. Because it says, uh, I shall get them fame and praise yep. in every land. Yep. Where they've been put to shame. Yep. And the day of thy power, thy people shall be willing. Yep. You know, hey, it ain't on personal business, but don't call me now. You know, after you, Elijah killed those fifty, you know, you had another fifty. He, this one was smart. He said, "Man, please, I saw what you did to them. Have right. mercy on me." Right, 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 <laughs> right. You, know? you want some too, old man? No, <laughs> no, bro. Because in the day of your power, now I'm willing. Yep. You know, keep going, brother. Uh, verse two it says, <clears throat> "For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant." And as a root out of a dry ground, 
He yeah, had, that, pro that proves Jake was dry uh, uh, under the uh, Sadducees so. and Pharisees. Y'all never talk about the importance that Yahweh Shai brought to us as a nation in that time. You know, what we are going through because they were cool that the Romans were ruling because they had a little power. They had a little position with them. You know what I'm saying? They were rubbing hands, rubbing elbows. Well, just like the Greeks. Yep. Those wicked, wicked uh, priests during... Uh, Antioch. Wicked yep. I Just like my people are following wicked men. The wickedest. Damn. Verse two, it says, and as the root out of a dry ground, he have no form, no comeliness. And when he shall, excuse me, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should <clears throat> desire him. See, like now, <clears throat> people don't have a spirit when they see us to, to desire us, you know? Yeah, they don't have a, uh, you got it, Mara. Yeah, like it says in Zephaniah, um, O nation that are not desired. You know, gather yourself together, O nation that are not desired. That's talking about the children of Israel. The, the Israelite man. Exactly. Especially the Israelite Let's man. That's talking about, because because I tell you what, you take a black woman anywhere on earth and everybody want her ass. That's talking about us. Okay? That's talking about us. You see a, a, a bald-headed black woman with a, with a body, and you look past all the, you know what I mean, the flaws. But us... You not only do you got to look good, smell good, be financially good. It's all material. Everything's every there's a fucking checklist when it comes to Jake. Yep. You know, it's like a, a whole checklist when it comes to us. But she could just walk down the street sliding her nasty ass slippers with her booty shaking. And, and she's good. And she's good money. You, you got to have an iPhone. Shit, tell me that one time. <laughs> said, you ain't got an iPhone? Tuh. That's some shallow shit like, right what? there. Damn. What? What the fuck? That just goes to the kind of person you you are. Right, <laughs> right. Oh, what's that song? Uh, a material girl living in a material world. <laughs> that that song is about is, is about uh, you know uh, about, be, about uh, being worshipped. You know. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. See, well, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. Dress my hair. You know. Yeah. Like, yep. See, yep. You know, exactly. Hair, you know? Yep. And that's why this world hates us. That's why I hate Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is from above. So anything these people had, he disregarded it. Mm -hmm. Just like us, we're not impressed because you got a fucking. Audi, you know, or you got followers. Wait till EMP hits. You know what I mean? We're not imp we're not impressed by this temporal mortal shit out here. Right. I don't care that you got a Gucci bag. All right. And you eat that shit. Right. You know? Man. People are low level, and I say it humbly, but when you when we've been awoken, we look like this shit is low. This shit is base. This is it. My man Scarface said that shit. Yep. Right. And he had it. Yep. You know, he had this so-called the life, the constellation. He was yep. eating amongst uh, punk ass Esau. She can't no kiss, man. I was thinking, <laughs> it. yep. Right, nasty ass whole woman. Yep. And it goes in to say, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised. But the Lord said, beautiful is defeated those that preach the gospel. Right. You know, so the Lord looks at us in our lowest state as, as beautiful because right. it says he don't look in the outward appearance. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all look on the outward appearance and only outward appearance that's accepted to you is what your slave master conditioned you to like. Mm -hmm. How about that? And right now it says where two or three are gathered that I am in the midst of them. The Lord loves what we're doing. The yep. angels. Yep. You know? Yep. Yep. What we're doing, the most honest place with it. So fuck what you think. Yep. You know? Yep. And it goes in to say, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Woo! Hey, well, a man of uh, much knowledge is much grief. As much, as much wisdom is much sorrow. Yep. No, he that increases the knowledge increases sorrow. Yep. And much wisdom is much grief. Yep. <laughs> so, so when you hear brothers speaking, you know, like this in particular camp today, how you think it, what Yahweh Shai was saying? It says <clears throat> his works would fill the earth. So, you know, there's a lot of works that he was going, going up. You know what I mean? He upgraded cities. Cities, hell yeah. And he was cussing their ass out. Yep. You know, that's what happens when you're passionate about something. You yep. know what? Yeah, well, you look know? look at a football coach or something, you know, basketball. Ah! You know? Right, like, you'll be losing the first two quarters. Yep. And at halftime, you go in that locker room. Oh, that's yep. that's actually a known fact. It says 55% uh, of games won was because of a stern halftime speech. Rebuke the ass. Get your ass in the fucking game, man. He said, give me the ball. I'm going to get you the ball. And he got his ass the ball. Yep. <laughs> you know? You gotta what the Lord to be doing to us, man. You know what we're learning in the spirit in these last days? You gotta take it there. Hey, remember the elder Mayakala? He said, man, yep. a lot of people built to take it there. Can you take it there? That shit is real, bro. Yeah. 
So you got a lot of these guys, these, uh, now I do what I want. You these weird niggas, they singing songs. They they can't take it there, man. Quit. They talk about killing and shooting. They can't take it there, man. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not, I'm not uh, eluding. I'm telling you the reality of life. In a reality of life, in a life of death survival situation, most men will fall. They can't these, take these, it there. These people can't deal with reality. Reality is that that you're, you're, you're in hell. Mm -hmm. you're, you ain't going to die and go there. You're already here, man. Yep. You know? Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> reality is you, you can go right now, get pulled over, and get lit the fuck up, man. Hey, man, this cop pulled over this Nigerian Jake, and he fucking stood over him. And he let one off in his head, man. The man just, the man went from uh, something to nothing. And the nigga just stood over him and then got up and said, get back. He didn't call nobody. He didn't. He fucking executed him, bro. Executed him. Just like that. Snap of the fingers. Okay? That's the reality. That's the reality of life. The reality is that, is that you're in the valley of the shadow that of death. death yep. Man. Yep. You know? Yep. And the Lord has given us the reality to fear no evil. You know, no fear. Don't fear the bad times. Yeah, well, reality is we got power. We got the yep. name of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. We have that power already, yep. man. You can feel it. You know, you feel it in the spirit. You know, you feel it in the spirit. Keep going, brother. Verse uh, three, and it says, "And we hit." Uh, hey, hey, look, God's real, bro. Okay, Yahweh Shai is real. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This that's, is real. That's beautiful because you say it's real, it's real. Yep. Yeah, I always think that, yeah, see? See, that's that wordplay, brother. Yep. That wordplay. <laughs> the Esau be like, hey, you want to sign a contract in blood? <laughs> Nigga, get your ass. Keep going. And it goes in the safe, and we hid as it were uh, our faces from him. This is speaking about what Israel, for the most, this is why they say the Jews rejected him. The Jews rejected. Well, well, well. well what, what, what did Paul say? Uh, I'm a Benjamite of the Benjamite Hebrew of the Hebrews. Yeah. But they rejected him. Yeah. He, he said, did God cast away his people? Yeah. God forbid. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it says, he was despised and we esteemed him, and we, and we esteemed him not. Yep. Hey, we're despised here. You know? Man. We're despised here. Okay. But that's okay. We're not tripping. You know? Because we don't need the, uh, the love of the world. What we're expressing is our experience in being despised from the world. Like, wait a minute, but I didn't do you wrong. I ain't do, but that's because they want Barnabas. But I, yeah. you look at me with the evil eye because I don't want to share a blunt with you. Yeah, they think it's strange. I'll tell you what, what my man, Mike Epsi said, once I got the, a, a BMW, my, it went through the roof. Mm -hmm. You get some blonde hair, you're going to get some women, okay? You yeah. start selling some drugs, you're going to get some because that's Satan. Get some dreads. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you get some dreads, bro. You might be on TV by tomorrow. Yep. You know, there has to be a movie stuff. Yep, but but serving the Lord, bottom of the barrel, lowest of the low. You don't suffer, and it says that in Sirach, prepare thy soul for temptation. I'm suffering now. Hey, it's all good. We know we alive. Mm -hmm. You know the chastisement of the Lord. Just going back like sports. You don't think that's chastisement? Training camp. You had men die on the field, bro. Like heat exhaustion. I see. Yep. People mm -hmm. have died in training camp. Okay. Mm -hmm. It makes me think of the. Uh, the conversation Morpheus had with Neil, <laughs> you know, some men have died standing with them. Hey, well, we facing it, you know, we facing it head on. We ain't running no more. We, we're saying la ah. Yep. You know? Yep. Keep going. And it goes in the same verse four. It says, surely he have borne our griefs mm. and carried our sorrows. Get Hey, wait, it said carry our sorrows. Can you get Exodus 28, Baba Kasha? Oh, and a yeah. uh, part of the priestly attire was for the high priest to wear the 12 tribes uh, on his shoulders. Six <laughs> tribes on one onyx stone and six on the other. That's y'all was shy, bro. That's right. Who's the Lord was the priest? And look at that. Ooh! Yo, that's, that's, my, fa that's my favorite that's thing right dope. there. I'm glad they gave him some color. Show the, show the congregation. That's a, that's a nice sword, bro. That's, that's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I might need to borrow that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes a new sword, you know, puts you back in that study spirit. Yeah, yeah man. I don't even want to mark it up. You know yeah, 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 yeah. You know how Jake be yeah. you know? Yep. I'm like, I ain't marking it up. Uh, I think it's 20 and 10. Okay. Let's see. see. Yep, yep. Let's Call off. Yep. This is Exodus 28 and verse 10. Is, I'm going to start at 8. Yeah, yeah, the so, context. So for them. The girdle of the ephod. And the curious girdle of the ephod, which is upon it, shall be of the same according to the work thereof, even of gold, of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of fine twined linen. And thou shalt take two onyx stones mm. and grave on them the names of the children of Israel, six of their names on one stone, and the other six names 
of the rest of the tribes on the other stone yep. according to their birth. Keep going. So that's birth stones. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. well, if you look up birth stones, there's only 12 of them because of 12 months. But the history, they tell you that the birth stones go back to the 12 tribe stones. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a birth stone, you have a tribe stone. Yeah. Like I'd be Gad, so I would be uh, a gate. They call it agate. It's a gate. Uh, this brother's Benjamin, so I'll be Jasper. Yep. This brother's Levi, so I'll be Garnet or Carbuncle. Carbuncle. You know what I mean? Judah's Emerald. Naf uh, Naphtali's Amethyst. You know what I mean? Uh, um, and then the list goes on. Yep. You know, it goes into it actually. But okay, Ephraim's you know, Onyx. Okay. yeah, Ephraim's Onyx. Ephraim, but but the priest, it was told to wear these uh, stones specifically for watch. Keep reading. It says six of their names on one stone. And that's why our brothers wear the stone. Yeah. This is our culture. Yep. And yeah, don't be getting into all that shit of Esau's breakdown. Right. Now there's a spiritual aspect right. with the stones, but don't be don't be fucking come up to me on some shocker shit, bro. Right. Yeah, you shocker, know what I mean? Uh, yeah. this or what pocket to hold it in. Bro, don't go into none of that. Don't put it in. Don't go into none of that. Like, don't put man. that on me. Right. You know what I mean? Like uh, we deserve to. <laughs> right, right. No, I'm not, not saying it. No, you go look, you, you start talking, look, you go like you get dude around me. And what else? All right. <laughs> look, look. Uh, and what else? Keep <laughs> you know? You got it. Hey, Jake, you know? It's your culture, but understand he has, Esau has a part in twisting your culture. Remember, it says men lie in wait and cunning craftiness and slight, mm -hmm. you know? Many doctrines. It says, it says, with the work of an engraver in stone, like the engravings of a signet, mm -hmm. shalt thou engrave the two stones with the names of the children of Israel. Thou shalt make them to be set in pouches of gold. Keep and going. And thou shalt put the two stones upon the shoulders of the ephod for stones of memorial unto the children of Israel. Keep going. And Aaron shall bear their names before the Yahweh Shemiel Shah upon his two shoulders. He shall bear for Go. a memorial. Yo, that's crazy. It no. was crash. This shit crazy out here. Spirits. That, that's just, that, that's the, uh, the, the, uh, the second time that happened this week. Damn. Hey, well, read that 12 again and read the, the what he did. See? That's why we brought that precept. Because in the spirit, the priest was bearing the sins of Israel to symbolize Yahweh Shai right. being the high priest under the order of literally being Melchizedek to bear the sins of Israel. Right. Yahweh Shai is our high priest. Yep. Bro. We wouldn't be able to go to Yahweh without Yahweh Shai. You couldn't get to Yahweh without a high priest. It's in Hebrews. You know? Yep. It was set forth for a better, you know, better mm -hmm. covenant. Memorial, yep. Better promises. So read 12 again and let's read that in Isaiah. And thou shalt put the two stones upon the shoulders of the of the ephod for stones of a memorial unto the children of Israel, and Aaron shall bear their names before Yahweh by Shemiel Shai upon his two shoulders for a memorial. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt make pouches of gold and two chains of pure gold at the ends of wreathing work shalt thou make them and fasten the wreathing chains to the pouches. That was the point, brother. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You want to read that? Yep. Yep. This and then is, Isaiah. I believe it's it. Yeah. There's a few. Yeah. There's a few in Hebrews that goes into how Shai being the priest yeah, 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 and yeah. the high priest. And there's one where it says, um, well, go, yeah, go back like three or four. Let's see. Let me see. It says yeah, Hebrews uh, is fire, right there. Oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Water, yep. This uh, Hebrews uh, three. Hey, we we got the uh, the, the scrolls open. Yep. Yeah. You know this is the, hey, this is why we gotta thank you, Al Bashmel Shai. If you talk about having trouble with reading that we battle, um, it's a little book now. So imagine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, bro, bro that, it could it could discourage you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's a blessing that we can get it like this. And there's ledgers. There's precepts, there's titles, you know what I mean? That's the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but let's read our initial point. This is uh, Hebrews 3, 1. It says, Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So that's the only high priest we should be talking about. He's right. the head of the church. Yeah, you know? And he's from Judah. And, he from, and that's why Paul said nothing concerning the priesthood. Because he was letting you know that, that, hey, yo, you Levite, relax, bro. Like, chill, bro. Bon lawyer, right. it's me. Mm -hmm. Like, yo, we talking about Yahweh Shai, who you yep. sacrifice to. You know what I mean? Like, you would think the priests out of all would, would understand that more. Like, oh, wait, so I don't got to lug these hundreds of uh, lamb anymore? I ain't got to sit here and, you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, but there was doing, there was, not all of them, but they was caught up in that, in that wicked, uh, like, uh, there's a spirit, oh, you're overqualified, you trying to take my job. 
Bro, it was a shadow of things to come. Relax. Try to get my spot. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. This is Hebrews 4 and 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Yahweh Shah Hamasiach, the son of Yahweh, let us hold.